What's up everybody, it's Rafi from Zurb, and in this video we're gonna go through the table component in Foundation. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a basic table, how to adjust some things, and really get your tables looking the way that you want them to. So, we're gonna start with a super basic table. Let's hop over to our example here. So this was just copied straight out of the docs here, so we have our table. Now this is what it looks like by default. Um, we have our table heads here, so our THs um, up top. And you can see that they have uh, a background and then a slightly uh, darker text or bolded text. So that's the default style. There's also some striping that is going on here. So you can see that the odd um, table rows are actually uh, striped with a little bit of a background color. So it just kind of makes the table a little bit more readable. Now you can adjust the widths of some of these columns if you want them to be sort of a fixed width. And what happens is if you do that, the ones that the THs that don't have a width will actually um, just auto size and take up the remaining space. So if we take a look at this example, the first uh, table head is set to width 200. And what that does is it dictates the width of the TDs that are uh, corresponding to that table head. So let's actually make that 300 now. So we're gonna make that 300. So what it does is it forces this first, uh, basically, column to be 300 pixels wide. And what that does is it constrains the room left for the remaining uh, columns. So if you need one of your table sections to be a little bit wider than the others uh, or narrower, this is something that you could do. If you remove that width altogether, then it sizes down and becomes much smaller. Another thing you can do is add some classes to this table to style it. So let's say I don't want that striping behavior. So we can add a class of unstriped. So what that does is it removes the striping on the table and now every uh, row has the same background color. And another thing you could do is you can also add a slight hover effect to these table rows. So if we add the class of hover to this table, when we hover over the striped table, you could see, or even the unstriped table, anytime we hover over a table row, you could see that now we get a slight hover effect. And that just kind of helps give the user context of where they are hovering. And especially if there's something to select on this table, um, that style is already built in. So it's just kind of nice to, to have those styles built in. Another class that we could add is the stacked class. So if we add the stack class, well, we can actually cause this uh, table to stack. And what this does now is they, the table rows stack into nice little sections. So another thing that you can do is give it a little bit of responsive nature. On a small screen, we can actually make this table scroll. So let's add the scroll class. Now this is available from foundation 6.2 and on. Uh, before you would have to add a wrapper around the table, but I'm sure you're all using the latest version so we can add the class of scroll to this table. And what happens is once it runs out of room, then you can now scroll the content to the side. So kind of uh, adding a little bit of responsive nature, pretty automatic, that way the content is still accessible. And there's a lot of different um, variables that you can use to uh, style these tables. They're baked into the settings file in the Foundation SAS version. So if you're using the SAS version of Foundation, there's a lot of variables here that make it really easy to style these tables and get that look and feel that you're going for. And there's also a mix-in, so you can 
create your table with custom classes and use foundation mixins to create that style uh, without having to use foundations built in classes. So that is the table component in foundation. There's uh, a lot more to learn in foundation. So if you want to learn about all the different features in foundation, we have our intro to foundation class. Make sure you check that out. I'll put the link below and thanks for watching.